Okay, in today's how-to video, we're gonna talk a little bit about hen handling. Now, whether you're a new school to us and chickens are brand new to you, or whether your old hens have retired and you've got new ones, or whether you've hatched them and been growing them on in school, handling hens and getting used to handling hens can be really daunting because most people are worried about being pecked, scratched, and flapped at. Now, the first thing you need to do is get them used to having treats from you, which we're gonna cover in another video because chickens can recognise over a hundred different human and hen faces so they will get to know you and they will work for treats so they will associate the giver of the good treats as their favourite human and generally come over to you when you give them some treats so I've just got a little bit of corn and it's there for them now the best way to hold pick them up is to use two hands and pick them up around the middle so that way you're keeping their wings in. If you imagine handling a rugby ball, they are a rugby ball shaped. So you hold them around the middle, that keeps the wings in and makes them really easy to pick up. Until they start laying their eggs, they might be a little bit more skittish to handle, but you really do need to persevere. Once they've started to lay, you'll find that they will do a crouch position when you go up to them, as if they were presenting themselves to the cockerel, which makes them really easy to pick up. Nice that the cockerel chimed in there. So, there's a couple of different ways to handle them and depending on how confident you feel, get into that bit, you can do arms length, kind of halfway, or if you're going to hold them for less than a couple of minutes, you can just pop them under your arm. Now, this is okay for a short way of holding them, but because our hens have nine air sacs in their body holding their organs in place, by having them close to your body with your elbow, the chances is you're going to squash them a little bit. So the better way to handle them and um, the easier way to handle them is like this. Now I'm right handed, so I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera, try not to tread on the chicken. I'm going to splay my fingers out and I'm going to run them underneath her tummy so you should feel the breastbone or the keel bone and then I'm going to slot her legs in between my fingers. Then I'm going to transfer her weight in the palm of my hand. As I said, flapping. Yes, when they get their wings out, they will flap a little bit. So that she's sitting in the palm of my hand and on her keel bone, so that releases a lot of pressure on that, those air sacs. So, yes, they can flap if they get the wings out, but as you can see, I've got her in the right position. She's feeling, she's nice and comfortable. Hens explore their environment with their beak. So if you're wearing something shiny or sparkly, or you've got great nail varnish, I have none of those things. They might peck at it to see what it is. It won't hurt, it's like being tapped by someone with a fingernail, but if you're not expecting it, it can make you jump. Um, chickens, female chickens, hens will never intentionally scratch you with your feet, but they might, as they fidget, they might get their feet caught in your clothing. Um, and yes, flapping, if they get the wings out, they will flap. So if you feel they fidget a little bit in this position, you can gently rest the hand on the back of their, top of their wings, and that settles them quite quickly. This way of handling them, more comfortable for the chicken, also means if they need to go to the loo, hopefully they'll miss most of your clothes, which is great, whereas under the arm, you tend to get it all the way down your legs. Also, if you're manoeuvring to work with small children, I'll step back a bit, you can very easily bend down like this, put the hen forward for the children to stroke, um, and you can also stroke them a little bit yourself, like a bond villa. You've got corn on your back. Um, and as you can see, she's quite comfortable, even though the chickens around her are eating corn and she's a bit miffed about it. This time of year, they're nice and warm, a bit like a nice hot water bottle. This is also a really easy way to check them for mites, just as if you're doing a head lice inspection, and check their condition, have a feel of what they feel like in your hands. The more you handle them, firstly, the more confident you will become, and the more used to it the chickens will. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please give me a, a drop me an email. Thanks.